you try to launch Counter-Strike 2 from Steam as you are supposed to, it displays you the Valve logo and then instantly closes. There is no error, there is only a crash dump, and that's it. There are a few things you need to do to try to fix this issue and finally play Counter-Strike 2. The first one is the obvious, update your video drivers if you haven't already. You may also want to uninstall them using a third-party utility like DDU and then install a fresh version of the video drivers. The second thing to try is to disable your antivirus, even if it's just a built-in Windows Defender. Since more often than not, antiviruses interfere with the built-in game anti-cheats. If you're on a laptop with dual graphics, you should make sure that Counter-Strike 2 is starting on the discrete GPU. In modern versions of Windows 10 and Windows 11, you can set that up in Windows settings. You may also want to enable or disable full-screen optimizations in the Counter-Strike 2 executable properties, however, this seems to be snake oil, so I suggest that you do not tick this box. And also, all the REST compatibility boxes must not be ticked, especially the run as administrator one. The next thing you want to try is to remove all the configuration files. Since Counter-Strike 2 is an update to Counter-Strike Go, your installation may still contain old configuration files for Counter-Strike Go that interfere with Counter-Strike 2. So what you need to do is to open this folder, and if you have an auto-exec file here, you must delete it, then you must also open this folder with config files and delete CS2 video config. And on the second thought, it is safe to remove all the configuration files here, since the game will recreate fresh ones at some point. Alternatively, you may open the CS2 video file with any text editor and make sure that the vertical and horizontal resolutions in those two lines match your actual display. So if you have a full HD monitor, which is 1920 by 1080 pixels, you should make sure that the config parameters in this file match those numbers. Alternatively, you may go to Launch Options of Counter-Strike 2, remove everything you have there, and enter minus W and minus H with the correct pixels of your monitor. So for a full HD monitor, that will be minus W 1920 and minus H, 1080. You may also try adding a launch option minus allow third-party software, which may help in some cases. But if nothing helps, you must make sure that no joysticks, gamepads or similar controllers are attached to your PC. And that includes all types of them – USB wired devices, USB wireless devices with a dongle and Bluetooth devices. Sometimes, if you have used, for example, DualShock at some point, you may have installed a specific driver for it in your Windows, and it will be still active even though you don't have the DualShock connected, especially if you installed virtual joysticks to make your actual gamepad more useful. This virtual joystick still exists in your system as if it was a physical device. Also, some gaming keyboards, for example, and Pro 2 have a built-in joystick emulation. Counter-Strike doesn't like joysticks since the Counter-Strike Go era, and I even made a video how to fix Counter-Strike Go not launching by disconnecting the devices that prevent it from launching, and in that case, that was an N Pro 2 keyboard. In this particular case, there was a DualShock controller connected to this computer at some point, as well as VJoy virtual joystick software installed, so you may try disconnecting the USB devices and removing the drivers, but in some cases it will be hard to do. You are not going to replace your N2 mechanical gaming keyboard just to play Counter-Strike Go. That's actually an ironic situation when the reason why you cannot play a video game is your gaming keyboard. Anyway, to fix this issue, you must add a specific launch option to the launch options of Counter-Strike 2, which is named minus no joy. Beware though that this command completely removes joy from playing Counter-Strike. So with this launch option, you will not be able to enjoy the game. I'm kidding. This option disables joystick support in Counter-Strike 2 altogether, and it only disables it in Counter-Strike 2. 
The controllers will still work in other games, including Steam titles. So after you do that, the game will launch just fine. I am the god of YouTube. Like, subscribe, thanks. Jingle bells.